Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Thursday morning. I um, hope you're having a great day. I have my tea. I hope you have your morning beverage and glad that you're joining Tom and I uh, with a word of prayer So and a chance to hear God's word and praise him. So let us begin. O Lord, open, my, open your lips and my mouth shall prepare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today's psalm, and this Thursday, is Psalm 36. There is a voice of rebellion deep in the heart of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He flatters himself in his own eyes that he has that his hateful sin will not be found out. The words of his mouth are wicked and deceitful. He has left off acting wisely and doing good. He thinks of wickedness upon his bed and has set, has set himself in no good way. He does not labor that which is he does not abhor that which is evil. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delight. For with you is the well of life, and in the light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your favor to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of the proud come near me, nor the hand of the wicked push me aside. See how they are fallen, those who work wickedness. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Let us pray. Lord God, source of light and life, by the light of your truth, let the, the, the virtuous know your goodness and sinners feel your mercy so that together they may drink from your river of delight and rejoice now and ever in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, we continue in the book of Ecclesiastes on this Thursday in the 11th chapter, beginning with first verse. Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it uh, uh, after many days. Give a portion to seven or even to eight, for you know not what evil may happen on earth. If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves on the earth. And if a tree falls to the south or to the north in the place where the tree falls, there it will lie. He who observes the wind will not sow, and he who regards the clouds will not reap. As you do not know how the spirit comes to the bones in the womb of the woman with child, so you do not know the work of God who makes everything. In the morning sow your seed, and in the evening withhold not your hand. For you do not know which uh, which will prosper, this or that, or whether both alike will be good. Light is sweet, and it is pleasant to the eye to behold the sun. For if a man lives many years, let him rejoice in them all. But let him remember that the days of darkness will be many. All that comes is vanity. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from Galatians, the fifth chapter, beginning with the 16th verse. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For those who are opposed to each other, to prevent you from doing, uh, doing what you would. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are plain, fornication, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, anger, selfishness, dis, uh, dis, dissension, party, 
spirit, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and to the Son, Son, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O Thou who in almighty power wast weak, and in perfect excellency wast lowly, grant unto us the same mind. All that we have, which is our own, is not. If we have any good in us, it is wholly Thy gift. O Savior, since Thou, the Lord of heaven and earth, didst humble him thyself grant unto us true humility and make us like thyself and thine uh, and then of thine infinite goodness raise us to thine everlasting glory who liveth and reigneth with the father and the holy ghost forever and ever amen, amen. o lord almighty and everlasting god you have brought us in safety to the new day preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in, in adversity And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Lord Almighty. Bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. I'm so glad that you were able to join Tom and I on this wonderful day. And I hope that you will uh, uh, see you tomorrow. And don't forget, Pastor Matthew, Morgan, and Gracie will be on this evening for the evening prayer. God bless you and have a great and safe day. Bye-bye.